Hi everyone and welcome to my place. Today, this is what we're going to make. I'm calling it a little vignette or a little botanical moment of splendor encapsulated in a lovely little dome. These were really popular with the Victorians and I've always loved them and I was maybe, well, I was able to get a couple of domes and I thought, Perfect, this is what we will do. And this is sort of like my gentle approach to Easter. So if you're looking for something a little bit Easter, something to stimulate the children, or something to just sit on your table, this will be perfect. And it's really easy to make. The hardest bit is trying to find all the little components to go in it. But if you start now, in anticipation of Easter, you'll be all ready to go. So give me a few moments and I'll just whack this, strike it out, and then we will start and I will show you how easy it is to make it up. Right, everything is all in front of me and we are ready to construct. So I've got a lovely little bird here that was already on a stand, which was a really great find, considering that the base here is the same colour, so, so far, so good. I've got a couple of branches here that I've just taken off an, a tree. I've got some artificial fern, um, plants here. I think it's supposed to be Queen Anne's Lace, but for now I love that lovely spring green. And it's not spring for me here in New Zealand, but, you know, it doesn't matter. And I've also got some lovely hellebore or winter roses that I'm going to incorporate plus I've got some moss and I've got this lovely little bird's nest here with these lovely duck egg blue eggs in it. Now I found another one I just picked these up from one of the cheap two dollar shops that we have everywhere here and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint up those eggs. So I've got a little bit of white paint here and I'm just going to put a little bit of turquoise on there, tiniest little dab and then just keep going until I get that lovely duck eggy blue colour. It's a bit brighter than what I wanted but that will be fine and I'm just going to put a little wash over those like so and then because that's a bit bright I just give it a wee spray like so get another bit of, it could probably have done with a bit more green in there but that will do but they're a bit brighter but hey look that's okay just dab those off there and you could put a bit more green in there if you had it but I don't know where mine is so this will do for now right that's there and that can be drying now the next thing is to Put this in position. Now the other thing that you have to remember is that you've only got a very small area or a confined area within your dome so just keep going backwards and forwards putting the dome on to make sure that it is everything that you put in isn't going to be too high or too wide. So with this what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that to one side and I'm going to use my glue gun and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue just on the base of that, just a little wee splodgy bit there. And then I'll take that more to one side. And once that's in position, you might have to just check again that it is all going to be within the confines of the interior of your dome. Perfect. And I think what I might do, just push that to one, just, uh, yeah, that's better. Just push that aside. Now I've got some branches here, which I'm going to stick on either side of my bird. So we just put a little bit of glue on that. You don't need very much. In fact, sometimes if you're really, really lucky, you don't need to put any glue on it at all. Right, and that will just, now if that's not gonna sit, whoa, hold on a minute. Put that into there like that, ah, perfect. And then this one here, I put a bit of glue onto that. I love making things like this. Whoa, that can just sit into there like that and can balance on there. And I might just need to put a little bit more glue just into there, just to hold that. And patience with the glue gun is an absolute virtue. Right, that can go to there. Then this little moss pad here, which I've cut, oops, that's just moved a bit, but that's okay, because I can get that, and I can put another little bit of, of moss on the back. That is not holding at all. Aha, there. <laughs> and I'll get a little bit more moss, put more glue onto that, and then just push that there so that it stays in place. Ha <laughs> ha, got you. Right, the next thing is using this here, I'm just going to put a big dollop of glue down there, like so, and then that will get, aha, will go into there. I'll put another bit into there like that. And I love how it just looks like a little tree. And I've got that bit there, so that can just go into there like so. And I'll just 
move that. It's a bit fiddly at this stage, but once you get into it, you'll be fine. It's just securing these bits here. And I'll just push that into there so that it stays just a little bit firmer there. Right, the next thing is I've got these little hellebores, so I'm just going to position one there, and then that can just sit up into there like that, and then the little bird's nest is going to go into there. Whoop! That will stay there, I know it will, because I'm going to make sure it does stay there. Isn't it frustrating when you're doing things? But I'm trying to go really fast in real time. So that can go to there, and then I've got this little butterfly. You just stay there and don't move. And I'm just going to put a little bit more glue onto there, and then that little butterfly can just sit onto there like so, and I am going to hold it because it will fall off. Right, are we all secure? Yes, we are, right, from there. Now the next thing is, make sure that your glass dome is very, very clean and tidy, and this is where you have to just make sure that you have everything within the confinements of your dome. There we have it. How easy was that? Beautiful for kids to look at and just be like captured with that beautiful moment of botanical splendour. Absolutely love it, easy to do. Hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you another day. Mm -hmm.